Malabu. What's up, guys? So we back with Jesse's wigs, and you know they was like, "Hey, we have this multicolored unit. You want to try it?" And I seen it in the picture, and she looked like the girl who had it had on the picture. She looked really cute, but I was still nervous because this. Y'all, listen, I done did a lot of color in my day, but this was still a little different for your boy. Um, so this is what it looked like straight out the pack. And it's a pretty dense unit. Um, I will say that this, because it's 613 hair and it's been dyed, we're going to go through like the color scheme of it. And we're going to also look at how it was actually dyed because I got a wig very similar to this, to this like maybe like two years ago. And it never got reviewed because the wig shed it like crazy. It was a mess. This is the total opposite. So I went through all the hair consistently felt the same. So, you know, sometimes even if you put like 613, like when I did my Cruella DeVille, one side was white and the other side was black, but I had to bleach the hair on one side. When I'm telling you this is very soft. So this had a protein treatment or something to make sure that these cuticles snap back and his hair wasn't staticky because a lot of times what I find is that when they put any color on 613, it gets so staticky and I have to do like a keratin or a silicone wash on it just to get it to stay. But this is just regular products. I use the Cantu, I think it's called the Heat Shield on this to get it to stay laid like this and it stayed like this. Um, as far as a curl and like a crimp is concerned, it will hold it. I just don't necessarily think that it looks the best with these three colors. I think it's a lot going on. It may be cute to you, but not for me. So I tried this on off camera and then I started it and I stopped it because something had happened. So I never, f I didn't finish. So as you can see here, one side of the wig is cut and the other side still has lace on it. So yeah, we had to resume where we were coming from excuse my wonky lashes but she was giving me the blues so this is the side i'm just showing like okay so it's gonna blend great this is a transparent lace if i'm not mistaken um so i did put a little bit of makeup on it just because again it still would have just been far too like gray slash white so i had to shave off my corners in order to get most of my new wigs to fit so i went in with the bold hold liquid gold reloaded because it just works so great. It works so good. And here we just went ahead, put it on there, put a little heat on it and blow dried it back. Like I told y'all, it works so good and, and the best when you have, look at that, look at that. Um, This is before I put any makeup on the actual cap. So this was still just fresh. I had did my makeup, but I just didn't put anything on my hairline. So here I just went back in with my blow dryer with the comb attachment on it just to get it to stay because that is going to hold your wig down and you're going to feel it. As soon as that heat hits it, your wig is going to like lock up on you and you're going to be able to be like, okay, I can, I don't think you could do a backflip and fight and it'll stay on. But if somebody tugged you like a, a Sheree Whitfield tug, you'll be all right. It, it's not going to come off. Your eyebrows will be high, but you'll be all right. So here I just kept going through. I did one side and then this was the side that I did. It. Um, so the other side is done. So I went through. I did like maybe two layers possibly just because I wanted to make sure it stayed down. And normally I wouldn't do that many layers because it's, my hair is usually black. But because it's blonde, I want to make sure it was down. So here I was started to feel the color. I'm like, okay, she's, I like it. It's kind of cute. I wish, I might do it. I might, I wish that middle color was like a dark chestnut brown so it went from blonde to chestnut brown straight into that jet black it would have been perfect um the color is applied nicely as you can see it's even whoever did this you deserve a raise because you did a great job if you get this wig let me see yours i hope it looks just like this um but yeah it's like the hair quality of this is amazing like the quality of their wigs my last wig like i told y'all still one of my favorites shout out to my girl she ended up getting it but it was so thick and this this wig is not as thick as that one i wouldn't expect it to be it's three colors and it's 613 is like it, it and it's hd lace like it, this is a lot for the price so be grateful um so here i went in and just took some of the excess off and then i just went back and cut it a little bit more 
Y'all, I had an allergic reaction to something. My eyes are bloodshot red. The day before, my nose was, like, driving me crazy. Um, I'm allergic to shellfish, and somebody got a little too close, and they got real, real, the episode of That's So Raven. So here, as you can see, look how beautiful that is. Did you see how gorgeous this is? Um, yeah, like I said, it was easy. Like, this was very, like, reviews are so easy like there now it's so much now i didn't pluck one thing it looked just like that when i got it the only thing that i did was i straightened it because as you can see it had like a body wave ish texture in it and that was it but let me know which color would y'all put in the middle because i'm about to go back and i'm about to put the chestnut brown and she about to be that one that wanted one so yeah if you had to choose what color would you wear this these three colors yes I, I want to call this like Neapolitan. Is that what it's called? Because I don't like the ice cream. Um, but yeah, what color would you put in the middle? I'm going to put like a chestnut brown. And because the closet talk is making a, re a return next month. Um, you will see that. But yeah, it's it's beautiful. Like it lays. And listen, the throw test is always, it, it's tried and true. But yeah, it's, they did that. This is, this is my second wig for them, and I do not regret it. So let me know how y'all feel about this, and I'll catch y'all in my next one. Mwah, peace.